Hi, this is an offer from Node Solution. We're going to be talking about price elasticity of supply today, and we're going to be looking at a question just to clarify our concepts. This is usually a tough question just because of the concept involved, and so let's just re read on. The question says, the demand for corn increases, so the demand for corn is going up. As a result, the price of corn will, and then there's a blank, and that says, and the less elastic the supply of corn, the, and then there's another blank, will be the effect on the price. And then we have choices that will fill in these blanks, and we need to pick the correct one for the answer. So, let's just start with the, the first case. So we see the demand for corn increases. Now just intuitively speaking, if the demand for something goes up, then the price will go up. So as we've shown over here, the demand D1, D2 is greater than D1, so there's no shift, and the price is increased, and so is the case over here. The price is also increased because the demand went up. Now what we want to know is by how much this price would increase, and that is dependent on the elasticity of the supply curve. So as we know over here, this is a supply curve. This is an example of an inelastic or less responsive supply curve. And you know because it's very steep. And so we'll put that down over here saying inelastic. So we see over here, if the supply curve is inelastic, you will experience a, a large increase in the price just because supply is less responsive to changes in price. And so whatever the increase in price is not being is not resulting in an increase in the supply, and so the price is just being passed on to the consumers, or is being uh, passed on in this case uh, in, in the result of a, a higher price. Compared to this diagram, we look at this, and over here we've made the supply curve much flatter. So this is more elastic or towards the horizontal line, which again is perfectly elastic. So we'll say this is elastic. Now as we see over here, if it's elastic, that means that the supply is responsive to changes in price, and so if you increase the price, the supply will be changing by a lot, which means that the supply will account for this increased price. So more price is signal for producers to supply more to the market since they can earn more. And we see over here that since it is responsive, the, the suppliers will be increasing the quantity by a large amount, and hence price will only go up by a small amount because of the elastic nature of the supply curve. So now we know two things. We know when demand goes up, so a shift in demand, the price will also be going up. So that's the first part of the puzzle. And the next part is, the next part of the question says, depending on the elasticity of the supply curve, so it says, and the less elastic the supply of corn, the dash will be the effect on the price. And so we want to say, if it's more elastic, there's going to be a smaller increase in price. And if it's less elastic or inelastic, there's going to be a large increase in price. So let's just see um, the choices so that we can pick the right one. The first one says, as a result, the price of corn will fall. And the, the less elastic the supply of corn, the smaller will be the effect, of price, effect on the price. So you don't even need re to read any further once you've got the, the fall in the first uh, fill in the blank, just because we already know that the price is going up. So it's in the upward direction. So fall is automatically discounted. The next one is, again, starting with fall. So we're going to discard that one and not select that one for our answer. The third one says, as a result, the price of corn will rise. OK, so we've got one right. And the less elastic the supply of corn, the smaller will be the effect on the price. So what they're saying is, the less elastic or the inelastic the supply curve, the smaller will be the effect on price, which is exactly opposite of what we showed over here. So the more inelastic or the less elastic a supply curve is, the greater will be the change in price. So this one can be the answer. And the last one says, as, as a result, the price of corn will rise. So that's correct. 
and the less elastic the supply of corn, the greater will be the effect on price. And so that's perfectly like what we've done over here. So first of all, we said the demand increasing results in an increasing price. And secondly, we said the, the less elastic or the more inelastic the supply curve is, the greater will be the effect on price. And hence the answer is D.